I was instructed to to do as fast as possible and as short as possible, so <laughs> I'm going to try to do that. Uh, my name is Nikolai. Uh, this, these are some words about uh, our product and our company. So, uh, what is Iridium? Iridium is a company uh, based in Nizhny Tagil, uh, fully based in there. I'm the only person which is not uh, in there right now. <laughs> uh, 42 team members, mostly programmers, uh, and some sales guys and some accounts. Uh, last year, about 72 countries uh, bought license of our products. We have uh, about mo more than 2,000 people trained in our academy online. And uh, our product is used in about 1,300 projects uh, each year. So, what we have is Iridium software, which is uh, divided, actually. So, the first type is edge controller software. So, you use it for local types of controllers and you install it in there, like on routers, for example, uh, and they work on site. And they can work with clouds or they can work with uh, sensors directly. Second type, type is a graphical user interface application. So once you need to make a user interface, which is not web, which is uh, usually quite often a problem, actually. So when you need a native application for iOS, Android, and uh, Windows, and it should look the same on all platforms, uh, you, you can use uh, our product. And third is editing environment where you can build all this. So, uh, a bit more about edge controller software. So, what it can do, it can take different protocols, connect them together and send them to the cloud, for example, or to the smart city platform, or in our today's case, to CDP. Second thing is user interface, and uh, we are one of the few products on the market right now which offers fully free configurable user interface. So you can create actually your own application quite easily using drag and drop. And you do it in the editor environment. Editor environment, you, usually if you want to connect, for example, uh, the protocol like this one, KNX for example, or any other, usually what you do you just make your own application and you write a bunch of code. Uh, in our environment, you just you use drag and drop usually to, to use it. So uh, our product is used in quite a big uh, amount of sites all over the world, including this, uh, including Rabobank in Netherlands, for example, or your commission in Brussels in Belgium. Uh, usually, system integrator comes on site and sees that uh, Lighting is one protocol, uh, projector is another protocol, climate is another protocol, and he can find there, let's say, something like maybe 20 different protocols and wants to connect them together. And uh, quite often uh, they find that our solution gives them a good opportunity to do so. Uh, but using Iridium as a simple tool uh, actually is uh, not so simple because we find a big emerge on the market right now. And this emerge is between information technology and operation technology. What is operation technology? For example, ventilation in this building is operation technology. And it is very different from IT, but it wants to move to IT right now. Why is it different? Because it is almost unsecured and IT is very secure right now. Uh, IT loves updates almost every day. Some products can update every day. And OT, for example, ventilation systems, no update, because once you try to update it, it stops working and someone will freeze, for example. And uh, informatic information technology uh, product lifetime is two, three years, normally. Yeah? Because you can buy a router and after two years you change it to another one and it is normal. Uh, operation technology, it works 10 years, up to 30 years, and I know controllers that are certified to up to 48 years of lifetime. And they should support this. That is why both of these markets, they are very different. And we try to make the software for OT, which works in IT. So this is the problem actually, and this is what we try to solve. So on the left you see <laughs> an IT system, on the right you see a ventilation, for example, system. And to connect them all, you need a lot of effort right now. So we help to do this. Uh, 
As an example of usage of our tools, uh, there is a Bongo project. Actually, we have a few projects right now which use our, uh, our system and our tools, but Bongo is one of them. Bongo is the project to go to operators, to service operators. Uh, maybe you noticed that a lot of service operators now offer smart home solutions. You go to uh, Megaphone, for example, in Russia, or you go to, I don't know, Orange, maybe in UK or in US, and they offer something like a box for, for a smart home. And this is normal, this is uh, quite good, but they have a problem. What they offer is some devices, then some maybe cloud service, and then some hub. This is the, the real example. So this is a real box where you can find few devices which are connected. But the problem is that you connect these devices and then person buys one, two, three, four thing and all of them are connected but not connected to this box. So the problem is that 10 to 15% of the market is covered by some functions of this box. And operator wants this to be a whole smart home solution. After a couple years this does not work. So our offer is to go to the operator service operator to MTS, to Beeline, to different ones and to tell them uh, that you can use our platform. The idea is you can use this store for modules and drivers for different devices which we have. You can use our hub software and you can use our cloud service. So uh, you can use all of the devices including ones which they bought from the operator as one system. And we tell them, do not use your application, use our application instead. And uh, it should be branded. So distribution model is, we offer this as a solution to operator. And we tell them, we show them our uh, software. And you see there, uh, Hotaza SK Apartments is uh, something which is built around here. Uh, Beeline, GS Group, uh, we already talk uh, with all of them and more actually. So these guys are quite interested because they showed us their application and it's, it is quite awful. So they, they uh, actually do not want to use it after they saw what we offer to them. So uh, this is one of the examples of usage of our tools. Thank you very much. If you have more questions, I'm ready to answer. The home automation space or smart building space. In home automation. Or smart uh, actually, uh, in smart building the, space. In smart moving space, you can uh, see software and hardware. Yes, from hardware, uh, we see that uh, Samsung with uh, small things is quite strong, but they do not plan to go to Russia or many other markets. They are in U.S. market and maybe some other countries. They are quite strong, and but they require hardware. Uh, we don't require hardware. That's why uh, it is easy to go to operator market because each of them have their own hardware. Yeah. Yes. So we are software. That's why some uh, smart things cannot go to Beeline, for example. Uh, also, uh, there are software competitors like Home, for example. Yes, from from Apple. But Home and HomeKit, uh, they have a problem because they they work passively. Yeah. And Google also, and Intel actually also. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm afraid that Cisco can also be quite passive because they say, okay, use CDP, but <clears throat> uh, maybe Cisco is more active than others because they try to develop their own drivers and solutions. So uh, I think that uh, our product is uh, better than uh, HomeKit, for example, for, because of one thing. Uh, after one year, maybe or so, there will be maybe 200, 200 of products supported by HomeKit, but maybe 2,000 of products which we support ourselves inside our store. Yes, so the quantity of products which you can integrate together is much bigger in our product than in almost any other product available right now. Does this system enable automation? For example, if somebody enters the room, uh, you know, the lights go up or something, or it's more yes, yes, I, I can actually actually show you later. I have it working, and uh, you can you can make automation. You can make any logic, and you can allow if whether this this logic will be available for end user or not. 
So you can uh, add, for example, thermostat, lighting, and uh, some other things, and uh, maybe email service, and maybe some additional service from your apartment. And you can connect them all together with logic. If this happens here, then this should go there. And you can keep it all on a hub software, which can be Cisco Router, for 